Welcome to this installment of Eight Ways to Improve Your Brand. Today, we're gonna to talk about consistency when branding. The first question that we have to answer though is, what is a brand? A brand, simply put, is what people think about you or your company. Whether it's a personal brand or a company brand, a brand is what people think about you. So why do you think consistency is important when it comes to branding? Well, first, Consistency helps you to manage perceptions. And this is the perception of your customers as well as your competitors. A consistent brand communicates professionalism, it communicates that your company has a purpose, and it communicates that you're stable. So you can manage the perceptions of the people who engage with your brand with consistency. Consistency also helps to eliminate confusion. It answers the question, who are you, the same way over and over and over again. For example, if you just take personally what you wear to work on a daily basis. If on Monday you wear a suit and a tie, Tuesday you're wearing shorts and a t-shirt, and Wednesday you're wearing some other type of work outfit, it's very difficult to understand what the culture or the brand is of your workplace. So consistency in what you communicate to your customers helps to eliminate confusion, especially when it comes to branding. It also protects your investment. Some of us have gone out and redesigned our logos at this point from one of the other parts of this series that we talked about in improving your logo. And you probably invested some money or some time in coming up with that logo and the way that it should be displayed. So consistency helps protect that investment. You aren't making sloppy applications of the logo that you've worked to design. It also builds on previous success. Consistency tells people that you will continue to deliver if you delivered the first time. It also tells people that your prices aren't going to change if they were this the last time. If you're communicating consistency in your brand, you're not going to see big spikes in pricing. Not much will change, and that's what customers want to hear. They get that feeling of security when your branding doesn't change. So the question then becomes, how do I build consistency in my branding? The first point on that is to commit and to communicate consistency and branding. You want yourself to commit to branding yourself consistently across all platforms and communicate not only to your customers but also your team that when they are talking about the company or when they're using company logos, here's the way that it should be done. So you want to commit and communicate. Secondly, you want to craft a style guide or create a style guide. We're going to show you one here real quickly from a restaurant here local to Uniontown, Pennsylvania. It's called The Foundry. And as we scroll through the pages uh, of this PDF that a graphic designer came up with, it's all about building consistency in the brand. There are ways that the logo is to be used, and there are only certain logos that are to be used. You can see there are also specific colors with which the logo is supposed to be used and things that should never be done with the logo, the ways that it should not be used. And there's also textures and imagery that go along with that. So you want to create a style guide that you can use to communicate to your team and to anybody else that you may hire to build consistency in branding. Lastly, you want to connect all of the dots. You can't just be consistent when you're talking to people about your brand. It has to be in your email, through your social media presence, on your website. Anywhere you look where your company is represented, you want to be consistent and communicate the same message. So this has been Consistency in Branding, Eight Ways to Improve Your Brand.